So hi guys, welcome back to the 2003-04 database. And before we get into things, I just wanted to quickly explain, um, obviously, the recent absence. Because uh, we haven't recorded any videos for about a week, or uh, two weeks now. And um, yeah, I basically wanted to, to explain that I've been going through a process where I'm, I'm trying to currently move house. So we've been doing a lot of decorating, um, been a lot of house hunting, a lot of paperwork, a lot of finance stuff that we've had to sort out. And um, yeah, it's been quite stressful as well. So I wanted to put this on the on the side, and obviously that is the priority at the moment. So I had to 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 sort of things out of that. So um, and it's not one hundred percent going ahead yet, um, but uh, our house is going on the market, stuff like that. So um, so yeah, hopefully soon we will move. I'll be in a lovely new office. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to to, to go into things because obviously. Uh, for some of you guys, you might not have seen my Twitter post that uh, I, I said I was taking a, about a week off just so I could get things sorted. And um, like I said, it's not 100% sorted yet, but I wanted to get back on the videos. Uh, I've really been into uh, this save, and uh, I'm sure you guys have too, which is why you keep on watching. So thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to, to get back into it because I miss it. And obviously in the last episode, we finished the season. Uh, we didn't win the league, we finished in third place, as you can see on the screen. And um, obviously I said I'd come back and we would do a review of how that season went. So we could look on how we can improve for the for next season. So um, that's what we're going to do in today's episode, guys. And um, hopefully, it's not, it won't be a long video, but hopefully we can um, have a look and see where our problem areas really were. Obviously, we swapped and changed with formations a little bit. Um, but I think we settled more towards the end. But I, I'd really appreciate you, your guys' feedback. If you can leave in the comments section um, any ideas of what you think I should do with tactics, uh, with player signings, um, which we'll look into more in the next episode. Um, but if you've got any advice on player signings, players that you've potentially bought on this database that you think would be worthwhile. Any players that I've missed off. Obviously, we've got a lot of good players in the youth side, uh, but they're not ready yet for the first team. So, like I said, what we're going to do is, in this episode, we're going to have a look at how the season went, look for our opportunities. We'll look at the stats for the league and the player stats and um, try to identify where we need to improve. Now, before we get into the episode, guys, as always, if you like the video, then please hit that like button. Massively helps the channel. And um, if you do like the content, you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. I'd really appreciate you guys following. We're nearly at 450 followers now, guys. So I think we're only six away. So, um, so yeah, but again, only, only follow if you do like the content. I don't believe in all this follow for follow, which I did do at the start when I first started, I admit. Because obviously I wanted more followers, I wanted more views. Uh, but the more you go on with the YouTube stuff, you get to realise that there's the real viewers and then there's fake viewers. And I'd rather do this for you guys, the real viewers, watching the video. As you see, no green screen today either. Uh, just going to be standard. I wanted to test it out a little bit as well because I haven't done non-green screen since Christmas, I think. Um, and potentially, and again, if you want to buy it, I'm going to be selling my green screen just to help fund with the house move, guys. So um, if you do know anyone, I've got my Stream Deck and the Elgato Game Catcher HD60 for sale as well. So if anyone knows anyone or anyone's interested, then let me know. Um, that can help towards the house fund. But as you say, I'm not, I'm not going to put it up today. It's just going to be the standard little camera in a box. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If, if you don't, then let me know. Please, uh, if you think it'd be worth me keeping the green screen, but for now I'm kind of tight with the money, so I need to uh, to look at that. But let's get into this episode. I have talked too much, guys, and um, let's have a look firstly at the league table. And as you see, the English Premier Division, Man United won the league, 29 wins, four draws, five defeats. We didn't do too bad. 26 wins, six draws, six defeats. We only finished seven points behind United. We finished six points behind Chelsea, which meant we finished third. And meant that we did not replicate the target and what Arsenal achieved in real life in 2003-04. Where they won the league without losing a single game. Which has still not been replicated. Because obviously Liverpool lost a game this season. Um, 
and going towards the season as well. I do hope Liverpool win the league. Something a bit different. They've been needing to win the league for a while and um, hopefully we can knock Spurs off of third place as well and finish where we have in this game. But that is how the league table finished at the top. Newcastle finished in fourth. At the bottom, Fulham, Leicester and Portsmouth getting relegated. So potentially we could have a look at some players that could be available. But we will do that in the next episode. Like I said, the next episode we will be looking at players. Potentially we could find some players that are, have got release clauses or just want to stay in the Premier League. So we might be able to get some bargains there. But looking at how we perform, I'm going to start off with our, um, with our squad. And I'm going to have a look at the, the overall performance of the players. And we'll start off with appearances. Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Ashley Cole, Sol Campbell are the four top players there. All playing 40 plus games. Um, well, there's other players that played more than 40. But obviously these were more, these, these are our, our most regular starters in the game. Four goals. We, we actually had a lot of players in double figures, which was good. Thierry Henry obviously finishing top goal scorers. 29 goals in 48 appearances overall. So, fantastic return from him. Bakasioglu, joint second with Freddie Jungberg. What a signing Kennedy Bakasioglu has turned out to be. He's still only a two and a half star, potential of a three. 23 years old, but he's got some good stats. And obviously, you've seen from the amount of goals he's scored, he's been well worth the signing that we signed 10 million from Araklis, which I didn't realise he played for Araklis. Don't know why. Obviously, Jungberg finishing there. And then Bobby Perez with 12. Dennis Bergkamp with 11. He didn't really score at the start of the season, but he started towards the end. He's got a new contract now. Vieira with 9. Uh, and then you've got Carney with 6. Ali Ali here with 3. Capu with 3. So, uh, a lot of goals throughout the team, which was good. Assist-wise, Perez and Jungberg were the, the, the main providers. Omri as well, and Bergkamp working together. And surprise one in here, Ian Hart, left back. Sorry, our reserve left back. In 27 games, he has set up six goals. So, a great return from him. Created a lot of chances. Vieira, Bakasioglu with six as well. Cole with five. Parler with four. Uh, Lauren would have been up there as well, but obviously he left. Hinkle started to perform a lot better towards the second half of the season. So, I'm looking forward to see what he does next. He got three assists overall. Um, chances created. Vieira with uh, creating the most chances. Very good by him. Again, Baxiogli, Jungberg, Parler, very productive. Bergkamp, Perez, Ian Hart doing well there. Omri, surprisingly, only creating seven chances. A man of match awards, Omri at the top. Baxiogli, Perez, and Vieira. Now, looking at the passing rate, obviously, those stats are obviously goals, etc. That is not the most relevant thing here. So what we want to look at is uh, the performance stats-wise. Uh, and a lot of stuff that I've been looking at lately has been money ball style. So um, potentially in the next episode when we start looking for players in the summer, we're going to try and look at the stats of the players and see who would fit into uh, our system. But overall, Mascherano, very good pass. He only played three games though. Still young. 19 years old, but he, he's going to develop to be very good. Potential four and a half star. He should play a lot more next season. Larson doing quite well there for his passing. Yaya Toure, how's he done on loan? Because we sent him out on loan to Man City. He only played 13 games. He didn't really do anything, which is surprising. Um, everyone's pretty good at passing, to be fair. Omri was one of the worst ones, 72%. Senderos. Gave the ball away. Ashley Cole, Hinkle. So it's, it's mainly the defenders. We need defenders that can play with the ball. So that is one thing I need to write down. If I had a pen. So ball playing defenders needed. Ooh, defenders needed. There we go. So that's one note. Uh, what else have we got in there? Kian Chalkanu. So tackling wise, so defenders, we need players that are going to tackle well. Nagamura, surprisingly, 4.53 tackles for the centre midfielder. 21 year old Brazilian, again, he looks pretty good, but um, physically, mentally, not so good. It's just his technicals that are good, so he's probably more suited to the low divisions. Vieira, 
very high up there, 3.6. Parla doing well as well, 3.03. Hinkle, T61. He was our top defender, Andres Hinkle. Ian Hart as well, he's done better than Ashley Cole. He's by half a tackle per game. Sendros, Kolo Torre, they're doing well. So the defenders that didn't do well look like Martin Keown and Sol Campbell, surprisingly, for tackles per game. You would think they were at the top. So uh, we need better defenders at tackling. I don't know why they've, they've got very few tackles. Dribbling percentage, obviously this is more for the wingers. Perez, Jungberg up there. Omri with a lot of dribbles. Parler, surprisingly. Ashley Cole. Hinko. Bakir Soglu is quite low. He's more. He doesn't run as much, which you can see. So he's more of a winger, just put the crosses in. Vieira, surprisingly, a lot of dribbles there for him. You know, Omri, we still got to wait to see him play. But um, from a wing-back perspective, Ian Hart probably makes the least dribbles. So he's better at tackling. But Ashley Cole creates, well, dribbles with the ball more. What about shooting percentage? Who is the best shot percentage person? And Kennedy back to Ugly, tops that. Hinkle as well up there, 57%. Omri, Jungberg, David doing well now, only 20, well, 20, I say only 24, he's 24. It's quite old. Um, Adi Adi here doing well up there, 50%. He looks very good. He's going to be a good player. Under 50%, you've got uh, Carney, Bergkamp. Carney's probably, I'm probably going to let Carney leave. Uh, he's not really scored a lot. His finishing's not been that great. He's had a couple of good games. Capo, surprisingly. I might I might let Capo go, to be fair. Let's have a look. He's 23 years old, but he's a potential four and a half star. He's got a good, cr he's more of a winger, to be fair. That's the thing, we, we've got a lot of wingers. Can play centre midfield though if we do play that position. And then average rating wise, Perez, Jungberg, Senderus. We'll have a look at the players that have finished under that we can potentially get rid of. Kalstrom, I'm surprised. He's played very well this season. Still only 21, so I'm going to keep him. Peter Cech, again, young, lots of potential to develop. Started pretty badly, but overall he's done well. 23 games, he conceded 17, kept 11 clean sheets, so. He done well after a bit of a bad start. Carney, I'm guessing he's one that we're going to leave. Probably, who else? Potential leavers. Sebastian Larson, he can probably go. Uh, Ray Parler, we could probably let Ray Parler go. Although I love Ray Parler. So I might just keep him just because I love him. David. Uh, David and Capo, they need to play better next season. Nagamura, Mascherano, Ali Adier. Ali Adier, surprisingly, quite low, but he's a, he's not done too bad. I need to watch him. So there are a few players that potentially leave. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. We will see. Now, one thing I did want to have a look at, so those, are the, actually, I'll keep my notepad because we will need that at some point. Um, I wanted to have a look at the league just to see um the stats of the teams. I'm going to look at the detail list so far. Um, average possession wise, we've done very well. Obviously, if we had, if our defenders were better at keeping the ball, that then we potentially would have been top there. Middlesbrough surprisingly top. So shocked about that one. Penalties taken. We were down in six. There's nothing I've contributed to that. We we scored all five, so I've got no issues there. Headers one. So we've won full. T so we are fourteenth for headers one. So we need to win a lot more headers. Percentage wise, not too bad to be fair. Fifty eight percent, but um, we still need to do better there. So obviously that goes back down to the headers one ratio. Fourteen uh, percent. So yeah, okay. We need to um, we need to get people that can head the ball. So we need headers there. Yellow cards, not too bad. Mid table, twelfth. Can we got fifty yellow cards and two reds? Everton were the worst there, and yellow cards. Everton had less than us, but they had more reds, so um, a bit unlucky there. Form wise, the best team at the moment are Liverpool. They've won every single game. Liverpool home form as well. We are up there. We won three, drew two, so we just need to do better. Um, turning those draws into wins. Liverpool have got the best away record. We're close behind. 
Liverpool with one draw and then four wins, and we have got four wins and one defeat, so not too bad there. Games won in a row. Liverpool are first with seven. We won three in a row. What's this mean? W.O. loss. Games without a loss, four. So, uh, yeah. Well, we need to get a good run together next season, but obviously that's not something to look at the stats for. Games lost in a row, don't need that. Games scored in a row. Eight, so we're doing quite well. The Manu at the top. Games without losing, we are fifth. Games without winning. Games without conceding. We've gone two games without conceding. So obviously our more defensive formation is working. And uh, games without scoring, no doubt. It doesn't matter. Minutes since last goal, 53. So not too bad there. Now, this is where we start looking into the stats, see where we could start improving. And if you have a look at goals we finished in third place scored 81 and over the entire season chelsea in second with 89 even though they didn't oh yeah they finished second so i don't know why i'm being silly there liverpool finished below us but they're going to be ones to watch for next season because obviously they've uh, they finished on a good run um so they will be ones to to look out for um but yeah, 81 goals. Chelsea with the 89. Man U hitting 100 goals. 11 of them goals from corner. Newcastle with 12 from corner. Villa with 10 from corner. So we were close with nine, but we just need a few more. So I need to work on our corners uh, and maybe get players that can um, that can take corners as well. And again, if we have players with more better heading ability, then um, potentially. We uh, will score more more goals there. Position second in matches, dun dun dun. Cross completion ratio. So we are very unsuccessful with our crosses. Two hundred ninety eight crosses made, which is one of the highest in the league. The only teams with more than us were Newcastle, Man U, and Chelsea, who finished in first, second, and fourth. So uh, it's not well too bad 340 what did i say 398 but they completed 16 percent. we completed 13 so it's very very tight very tight there uh goals it doesn't say how many goals from from cr crosses there full for crosses can well yeah so we we were full for the amount of crosses we made but the completion um wasn't that great so we need better crosses which could again work into the corners. So that's one thing to look out for. And again, we can when we're looking at the players, we can potentially see um, potentially see where we could improve that. Crosses completed. Again, we've done that. Goals from corners. So fifth place there, something to work on. Goals from direct free kicks. We were close with four. So we need some better free kick takers. And the, the reason why I'm saying this is because I want to be um, top for everything. So, if I'm not top, then I need better free kick takers. Or I need to work on the training. Uh, direct, uh, indirect free kicks, sorry. We were 19 for only one goal from indirect free kicks. Uh, which is pretty poor, to be fair. Um, but it does mean a lot of goals came from out of play, which which is good. Pass completion rate, 7th. So, although um, we are passing well, we need to pass better. So, I need better passes. Uh, you got to remember as well, I had a lot of uh, the young players playing. so And we played a lot of direct football at the start as well. So that could potentially change next season. Chances created, 68. Chelsea clearly above us, 87 there. Passes completed, average possession. Uh, so our average possession is actually higher than any of theirs. What's this? Passes completed. We completed more passes than than them apart from Man United. Uh, but yeah, it's just about players getting in position. So I need players, need uh, strikers with better uh, positioning and anticipation. Remember that one, anticipation. And I need um, midfielders with better vision passing what other things do i need guys passing vision and uh, i'm going to say for the strikers 
off the ball as well. So they can get into positions. Boston and anticipation as well for them. So they can anticipate the runs. So that's fine. Shots on target ratio, 44%. So we need to be better at finishing. So we need better finishers. And if you remember as well, guys, when we looked at um, how our players rate with the rest of the league, we were quite low in a lot of them. So I think if we done some good recruitment in the summer and remember we've got quite a bit of money and if we can sell some players as well then um we should be able to improve this mass massively shots on target we were third so that is good conversion rate though 12th so again that works with the finishing we need better we need a better striker but again this could link with the fact that we play a lot of direct football at the start i don't know we have to wait and see Fouls against 5-11. Dribbles per game. So we won a lot of free kicks. Uh, dribbles. I want... I want to... I'm going to leave that because... Obviously, Hinkle's new. And then I'm happy with the wingers. So I don't need to do that. Defending-wise... Fourth best. So defensively, we need to be better. Which I knew... And, has more to do with the start as well. So defensively, we need to be better. So again, it's just looking at the, the stats from there. Conceded from corners. So um, we conceded seven. So again, that's just, I just need to work on corners, both defensively and offensively. Goals from direct free kick. Um, conceded so again five so yeah we definitely need to uh, work on that as well we need to defend them better uh, goals from indirect free kick three so not too bad there clean sheets we were fifth Liverpool 22 so yeah they had an excellent end to the season uh, so they're going to be a force to, to be reckoned with at the start of next season so we definitely need to prove in there fouls made seventh yeah I'm not too bad about it. I like them being aggressive Tackles one. So, well, if you look at this, despite our tackling percentage being low for some of them, the tackles one has been pretty good. 84% there. Tackles one ratio. So that's all good. Attendance. We can't really do anything with these. Um, and then, yeah, it's just the expenditure. So... Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave this now, guys. Um, you see us there, third place. Because I want to keep this one short. There's obviously a lot of information and a lot to take in. What we will do, we'll come back for the next episode where we will look at the detailed player stats for the season. And then that way we can make a judgment on which players um, we could potentially buy from those lists. Um so what I want you guys to do, if you can help me get ready for that episode, please please leave a comment with um, some players you think I should sign. Anyone that you've signed on the game in this database uh, that you could recommend to me that will um, help improve the areas that we've gone over in this episode. And also players that have worked well for you. And e even if you're not putting players in there uh, for my benefit, just name some players that have worked wonders for you. Give some examples. Tell us how many games they played, how many goals they scored, their their percentages, things like that. Let me know. And um, guys, again, thank you very much for watching this video. Video? I don't know why I said video. Um, but again, apologies for the, the little break. Um, but I hope uh, you guys understand from the explanation at the start of the video. And... Um, yeah, we're going to crack on with the videos again. We are going to be back. Uh, I'm just going to roll with this database for now. I'm, I'm, I'm putting a back burner on the St. Ives save. I'm not going to do... I, I was thinking about potentially doing something on on Twitch. I can't speak to that. I don't know what's going on. Um, potentially with the Panathinaikos save or this save. I'm not going to do anything yet. If I do decide to do some streams... I will do it on YouTube and um, hopefully you guys can uh, get involved with those streams. 
when I do them, but if I am going to do them, I will announce that on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, guys. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't done so and you've actually managed to get to the end of this video. Um, thank you very much. And uh, we will see you guys for episode 12 on Wednesday.